Assalamu alaikum, welcome everyone to Amazed by the Quran, a series in which I love sharing with you guys things I find amazing about the Quran. And today I'll share with you something from that is quoted in the Quran from Yaqub alayhi salam when he was having a conversation with his sons. Uh, when they were kind of frustrated with him that he's not letting go of the memory of Yusuf and he's still grieving over it. Uh, you know, Tallahi tafta utathkuru Yusuf. You're, are you going to keep remembering Yusuf hatta takuna haradan? Until you die? Until you kill yourself? Can you get over it already? And he responded, he said, Qala, إِنَّمَا أَشْكُوا بَثِّي وَحُزْنِي إِلَى اللَّهِ I am only complaining about my grief and my, 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 uh, my trouble to Allah. My trouble and my grief, I'm only complaining about it to Allah. These are very profound words. All of us at some point in our life have grief. All of us have some kind of trouble. And we like to share our grief and our trouble. It helps to share it with friends. It helps to share it with people that have wisdom that are around us that we trust. Uh, sometimes we talk about our problems to our parents or maybe a close friend or a teacher or an imam or, you know, and people try to email me lots of their problems and things like that or see me at a conference and want to pull me aside and tell me about what's going on in their marriage or what's going on in their, with their sibling or what's going on with their children or their parents and things like that. But you know, in this ayah, some, a profound truth has been revealed uh, by Yaqub Islam. Yes, we do find comfort in each other. But I will never be able to understand your pain. And you will never be able to understand my pain. It'll never happen. The grief that I feel, only I can feel. You know what, what we do? We try to compare our grief to somebody else's. Or we try to compare, well, your situation is similar to that situation. Right? Every situation is unique. Every heart is unique. Every ache is unique. And the only one who truly understands the pain that you're going through is Allah. The word innama here is significant because you have to understand first and foremost that the only one who will truly, truly understand what you're going through and sympathize with you like no one else is capable of sympathizing with you, even the best of your friends, is going to be Allah. And he says, وَأَعْلَمُ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ I know something from Allah that you people don't know. I know that Allah knows me the way you can never know. It's almost implied inside that ayah, among other things, you know. That you, that this is kind of one of the fundamental cornerstones of putting trust in Allah. Knowing that He understands you like nobody else can understand you. Knowing that He feels for you like nobody else can feel for you. He sympathizes with you like nobody else can sympathize with you. So your first wave of complaint and your first wave of lament is actually to Allah Himself. Ya Allah, you know what I'm going through. I'm, I speak to you. When it's okay to cry. And that's the last bit I want to share with you here. Some people, you know, I, I, I got this and I've talked about this before, but it's important to repeat. Um, people have a loss. And when they have a loss in the family, they cry. And then their family members, very insensitive, tell them, you shouldn't be crying, you should have patience. Or you should be happy, your child is in Jannah. Something like that. Yes, we should be happy, our child is in Jannah, but we're also human beings and we cry. And it's okay to be sad. If a prophet can be sad for years and years and years and not let go, and his sons have to tell him, can you get over it already? And he says, I'm only crying to Allah. Why are you, what's, what's bothering you? This is between me and him. Allah did not allow, did, did not deny that beautiful emotion, that sadness. It's, it's okay for you to be sad. It's okay for you to cry. It is necessary for you. And Allah does not think less of you that you don't have patience. Allah didn't create robots. He created people with emotion. And even prophets had these emotions. And they are validated in the Qur'an. So how can we deny this of people? We can't. You know, this is something that Allah put as a gift for us that we are able to complain to them. By the way, when you meet someone that truly loves you, and you get to talk to them and pour your heart out, you will start crying uncontrollably anyway. When you finally get to talk out your problems, you're not going to be able to help yourself, you're going to cry, right? And Allah is okay with you crying out to Him. He's okay with you complaining to Him. He's okay with you letting Him know your problems. SubhanAllah. It will give you relief like nobody else. SubhanAllah. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us relief in our moments of sadness and allow us to not be oppressive to ourselves and to others when it comes to expressing our emotions.